फायदा जातो म्हणून Mr. President, distinguished members of the U.S. delegation, all fellow supporters of our alliance, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to welcome you here tonight. This year marks the 114th anniversary of our diplomatic ties, and next year we celebrate 70 years of alliance between our two nations. At today's summit talks, Mr. President and I reaffirm our enduring commitment to the world's wrong U.S. alliance and to see together a new policy future for our two countries. In 1950, when communist invasion put my beloved homeland in peril, America's sons and daughters fought together and sacrificed their lives to defend the freedom of a country they never knew. Thus, the Rodriguez Alliance was forged in blood on the battlefield of the Korean War. Since then, the Alliance has been a strong foundation which buttressed Korea's economic growth and prosperity based on free democracy and market economy. Where was the core of FDA, since it came into effect a decade ago, has created many decent jobs and promoted investment in Korea as well as in the United States. The bond between the Republic of Korea and the United States will grow even deeper. The cooperation between our two nations will become only stronger. Sharing universal values of free democracy, human rights, and rule of law, our alliance will go beyond security to a cutting edge technology alliance and a global comprehensive strategic alliance. I will try to design a new future vision of our alliance with you, Mr. President. I don't get to know because of Mr. President, there's a line from the poem The Municipal Gallery Revisited by William Butler Gates, one of her favorite poems. It goes, Think where man's glory most begins and ends, and say my glory was at last as friends. The United States is such friend to Korea, and so is the Republic of Korea to the United States. So now let me propose a toast to our dear friendship, to our shared journey for the freedom and human rights of all citizens around the world and to the peace and prosperity of the region and beyond. We go together. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Next, the Honorable Justice or Biden Jr., President of the United States of America, will deliver his remarks and propose Well, Thank you, Mr. President. We had a very productive meeting today. And um, but, uh, even more importantly, we got gotten a chance to get to know another person. We shared a lot of stories from our early beginnings, and I think I'm going to be too much, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> 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 네, 그리고 Mr. President, your uh, country's democracy shows the power to be able to deliver for its people. I'm proud to say that the general with me today can say as well that uh, our armed forces stand side by side, stand in center. On the peninsula for seven decades to preserve the peace and make possible that shared prosperity. So I'd like to raise a glass. May the alliance between our two great nations continue to flourish for all the decades ahead. And as our combined forces say, we go together. Thank you.